Hi everyone, Greg Trico here again. I wanted to bring you to a very beautiful and special place. This is Eagle Crest High School, where it all started for me and where it all started for Julia Tovey, the founder of this beautiful organization. Um, I have the profound and exciting task of introducing the next artist. Uh, I first fell in love with her in a little black box theater at the University of Northern Colorado doing working. Sure, you can fill up a small black box theater. But then I saw her take over the world as a senior in college in Chess the Musical. One of the grandest things I've ever seen. You will know her from the unsinkable Molly Brown and her Tony Award nominated performance in Fun Home on Broadway. It is my pleasure world to give you the unsinkable, see what I did there, Beth Malone. I know what's gonna happen. I'll try to go to bed with fear of failure flapping like a fruit bat in my head. I'll sleep for half an hour. The clock will ring at six. I'll wake up in the shower with a stomach full of bricks. And so I won't have any breakfast, maybe just a little tea. Like when you have to go and get a colonoscopy, which incidentally isn't half as disconcerting or upsetting as going for a part you know there's no way that you're getting. So anyway, I'm heading downtown for the audition where everything I'm dreading will be coming to fruition. And here's what's gonna happen. I'll walk in weak with hunger and there's a dozen girls who look like me but 10 years younger. I'll go into the bathroom and I'll try to vocalize and I'll be singing ming -a ming -a ming -a ming -a ming but I'll be hearing Bethy sucks. She really sucks. She really, really, really blows and she's old and she's lame and then someone calls my name. Here's what happens. I'll walk into the room. The girl's fluorescent lighting as inviting as a tomb and everybody smiles they'll say it's good to see ya but all i'll see is judges and they'll all look like scalia a little bit of banter as they look me up and down and some are through the fog of insecurity and hate i'll try to convince them that i'm charming and i'm clever and I'm fun to have around but i'm starting to unravel in my head i hear the gavel guilty they're gonna throw the book at me because i'm Guilty of coming in and wasting all their time. Guilty of almost every other showbiz crime. Not young enough, not thin enough, not pretty enough, not good enough. We hereby sentence you to a lifetime of waiting tables and a debilitating self-loathing. Beth? But wait, now someone's asking, so can we hear your voice? I make a lame attempt at humor, do I have a choice? I nod at the pianist, he's always wearing black. He's always in a turtleneck with dandruff on his back. No sooner do I get my note and open up my trap, than inevitably some mealy mouthed assistant director thumbs all over his iPhone, and I know he's probably tweeting, LOL, this girl is crap. She's a fake, she's a phony, she could never win a Tony. And now I'm in a place I know quite well. I've left the world and I've entered hell. I'm this far away from a fainting spell. But just before I die, I finish a song which I oversell. Somebody says thanks and wishes me well. The next thing I know, I'm a Taco Bell, stuffing my face with meat. I'm trying to take it slowly. I'm trying to be my best. I'm trying to be more holy, less bitter and depressed. I'm reading Eckhart Tolle. He makes a lot of sense. I bought a Buddhist bowl. He says it helps you be less tense. It doesn't do a thing for me. I sit there on the floor and watch a vivid sequence of humiliating images from my past go by and think what kind of masochist keeps coming back for more when she knows gonna happen because it never doesn't happen because it always yeah. always yeah. David no I know it's gonna happen don't tell me that I don't and don't say that I'll rise to the occasion because I won't and don't say I've got talent and don't say I've got heart and don't say that I'm clever because I know I'm pretty smart I'm smart enough to know that I'm too stupid to admit you can't survive a diet that consists of eating shit the trick is knowing when it's time to pack your bags and say that's it I know what's gonna happen. You know what's gonna happen. Here's what's gonna happen. I quit. I quit. I